Hello! Today I will be walking you through the alternate directions for the iodine test strip use. The iodine test strip use is very technique sensitive. Following the steps outlined in this video will help to ensure more accurate reading. Iodine test strip use is intended to determine the level of iodine present in dental unit water lines. This level is called the parts per million, or PPM. Iodine test strips are not to be used to measure the presence of colony forming units, or CFUs. If the iodine parts per million, read below 0.5, replace your waterline maintenance product. If the iodine part per million reads 0.5 or greater, continue normal use for another week and then recheck levels. For any other iodine based product, please reach out to that manufacturer for test strip usage guidance. For Dentapure cartridge users, it is recommended to check iodine levels at 11 months or as you approach 240 liters of water usage if water records are kept to ensure that the iodine output has not fallen below the 0.5 parts per million, especially if you have a very busy practice. Some important notes on common errors with iodine test strip use before we begin. Not flushing the system may show a false negative with iodine levels below 0.5 parts per million. Spraying water directly down into the cup without tilting it may cause the iodine to dissipate, resulting in a false negative with the iodine levels below 0.5 parts per million. Matching color from the back of the test strip instead of through the window may give you an unclear color match. Failure to reseal the bottle will cause the test strips to lose accuracy over time. Let's get started with the test strip procedure. To begin, perform a two minute flush of all the lines on the unit connected to water. Remove one test strip from the bottle and reseal the bottle to maintain freshness of the other test strips. Take a 20 milliliter sample by tilting the cup, a plastic dental cup is acceptable, and allowing the water to run continuously down the interior side of the cup to avoid turbulence of the water. Look for and follow method A on the bottle. Dip the test strip into the water sample for 10 seconds using a constant, gentle back and forth motion. Remove the strip from the water and wait 30 seconds. To obtain the best color match, fold the dip test strip in half so the window side of the strip is facing out. Match the color appearing in the small window of the test strip with the associated method A color chart that shows parts per million levels from 0.0, .0 to 5.0 parts per million. A reading of 0.5 parts per million confirms the presence of iodine. A reading of less than 0.5 parts per million confirms the need to replace the treatment product. Thank you for watching. For more information, please reach out to customer care or visit hughfreedygroup.com.